good. Welcome to the Tuesday Club. <laughs> so, what we're going to do today is work out how to get spindles, the, the break of spindles, and equal them out evenly. So, first of all, you've put your hand rail in and you've put your base rail in. We need to establish what angle this is. So, you get your sliding bevel, put it in your base rail, match it to your newel, and then you can find out what your angle is from there. This we're working at 40 degrees. So I've marked it at 40 degrees. So when we set our chop saw, everything is at 40 degrees now. Then we need to get the length of our spindle. So by cutting a spare piece at 40 degrees and then making it 100 millimeters, I'll put it into my base and I'll put a little mark there. And the reason I do that is because my tape measure, because of the point on your tape measure, you can't get it tight in the corner. So what we can do then is go up to the top and work down, and that's 620. So 620 plus your 100 is 720. So we know now that our spindle height is 720. So what we need to do next is I've drawn out the newel post, I've drawn out the other newel post, and there's the string. We've created our angle at 40 degrees, and now we need to work out our spindle dimensions. So things, a few things we need to consider is we have to go a maximum So it's got to be 99 millimeters maximum. Okay, we can't go any more than that. So then what we need to do is work out the angle of this. We need to work out what that measurement is there. So how we do that, <clears throat> is we'll get two sacrificial pieces of spindles and we'll place one in and I've made a mark on you just for a reference point and we'll place the other one in there. You need to make sure that that is 99 millimeters apart, horizontal, and then by doing that you can work out what your measurement is on the rake. So, from that to that, down that linear measurement, is 128. Okay, so the maximum of our rake angle is 128. So next what we need to do is work out the overall length. So there's a few ways you can do it. And I'll show you these ways. You get a couple of offcuts of your spindles, we're working out a couple there, there's three, and we'll find, up uh, there's five, we'll put one more, six, okay, so to work out your spacings, you've got to count not the spindles, but the spacings. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spacings, okay? So I'll just write it on you, seven spacings. Then we measure from the top of our newel to the, the end of our sixth spindle, which is 804. Let me just get it on there. So it's 800. So we'll do 800 divided by 7, okay, which is 114.2. So we'll work that to 114 millimeters. So what we do then, because it says we need seven of them, we need one for the top, one for the bottom. So that's 14. And how we, how we fit it? 
we'll cut one angle at 40 degrees and we'll cut one angle square. And then when you put your first piece in, you put the square edge tight so it's got a gap for the dust and then you lay your spindles out. When you put your first spindle in, make sure that's plumb and then there on out then every spacer should be 114 millimetres.